Okay, so another cool feature is, um, and I just want to point this out, you can do uh, out of sample and in sample, you can run all these features on them. Uh, I'm just using the combined results for these, uh, this video. Uh, so the second feature here is you can view, um, let's say that you data mined for um, something other than PNL. Let's say the genetic algorithm was looking for sharp ratio. Well, it wouldn't make a lot of sense to see how the equity curves did. You might want to see how um, all of these strategies did against the random strategy sharp ratios. Well, if you hit this verse random button, you can actually view how the real strategies did against the random strategies in every fitness function possible. Um, so in this case, you could see that the real ones had better P and L, um, but they're pretty, you know, pretty much equal with the random strategies and everything else. So it's you know a tough conclusion to say, but again. Remember, we selected net PL, so that is a good sign that we select net PL and the real signals uh, outperform the random. So maybe there is something in these real signals. Uh, jumping down the list, so this Monte Carlo equity curve will basically show you, based on a Monte Carlo simulation, where the selected strategy, the one highlighted in blue, can expect to be uh, with 95% confidence in n number of trades. And here you can control what n is. So let's look, um, you know, 300 trades into the future. And we go ahead and hit our button. And just like that, we could see that we are 95% confident that our equity curve will be above this lower red line. And there's a 5% chance that our equity curve will be above the higher red line. Okay, and this is also a good test, uh, you know, if your strategy falls below this line, uh, something might be wrong, uh, and that might be a good time to reevaluate your strategy. Okay, uh, and you can adjust the confidence intervals here, uh, you know, just like everything else, uh, highlight and type or uh, change the arrows. So Monte Carlo drawdown, so let's say we have a $25,000 account, uh, this will basically tell us uh, what in our reshuffling in the Monte Carlos, what a better expectation for drawdown may be than this $505. Um, so we hit our button and it pops up and the blue line is cumulative, meaning it adds each of these green bars as it moves over. So I like to look at 95% of all of the drawdowns were uh, less than about, let's say five and a half percent. So we can conclude that there's only a 5% chance that we will experience a drawdown greater than 5.5%. Um, so that's a really cool feature to make sure that you are sized appropriately and have realistic expectations surrounding uh, drawdown.